When my soda stream is running out, I head to the grocery store to buy some dry ice and refill it myself. Do this at your own risk. $2.75 later, I'm home. I get all the tools ready to go. Funnel, wrench, hammer, chopstick, serving spoon, bowl, and 15 to 16 ounces of dried ice. I get the soda stream canister ready. I have a vise on my workbench, and that's the best way to keep this solid. I open the small check valve on the side with a crescent wrench, just one revolution. I allow the remaining gas in the bottle to escape, and then place the valve in a vise, or put the bottle in a vise, and open it with a wrench or a crescent wrench. It's very, very tight coming from the factory, but subsequently, it doesn't have to be replaced as tight. The chunk of dry ice is very easy to break up. Just tap with a hammer lightly. And then after about 20 to 30 seconds, it's all easily granulated so that it easily goes down the throat of the funnel. The ice, of course, is cold, but it's not like it burns you on contact. You can certainly wear gloves. A few pours of the serving spoon into the funnel and then tap it down with the chopstick. And that's all there really is to filling the bottle. This takes about 60 seconds. When it's all in there, it's time to put the valve back on top. I use a drop of silicone lubricant on the threads and the O-ring. Just a little bit tighter than hand tight, and that's all it really takes to seal the bottle. Finish up by tightening the check valve. Again, just a little bit more than finger tight. Pull it out of the vise, and there you have it. Took me about 10 minutes from the time I got back home. Set it aside, in about 15 minutes it'll completely start to chill over, and then in about 45 minutes it'll start warming to room temperature, and about one hour it'll be ready to fire. For this last refill, I kept a bottle-by-bottle -bottle record of how many presses I was getting per bottle. Here are the results. I got 23 liters as opposed to the advertised 60 liters out of this refill, and that was equally as fizzy as store-bought sodas cost me 5 cents per 16 ounce serving versus SodaStream's 30 cents per 16 ounce serving. That's more than six times cheaper refilling it myself. So that's how I do it. If you choose to do it, don't blow yourself up.